What is up, players? It is Warboss Tay back up in this mud, and welcome to an update video, a uh, wrap-up video, I should say, of my project Wood Elves. Started uh, last year, I, I can't believe it. It's been uh, quite a little stretch of time since I've been able to first dig into these miniatures, and uh, I'm really glad I took all of the extra time to fix everything up, make it all squeaky clean, nice, bright, shiny, and uh, perfect for my client. And uh, here we go. So this is the uh, standard of the Glade Guard, kind of in a, you know, a literal sense, as in he's holding the standard, but also because uh, I wanted to paint a test model that I would really be proud of, that I would really think I could copy over as uh, the benchmark for the rest of my Glade Guard. And everything from the purple amethyst bone gems to uh, the four spirits to the different kinds of greens really informed how I went about doing these wood elves. I knew when I first started this project I wanted them to be in a kind of summer theme so lots of bright greens but also dark browns and different shades of brown. So you've got the reddish Mordfang brown contrasting with the, the deeper uh, the dark chocolate brown of the boots, the dryad uh, bark and um, everything kind of contrasts really really nicely everything kind of blends and goes well together i think hey if you would like to be um if you would like to copy or replicate the paint jobs that i did please feel free to check out the other videos i did on painting the glade guard as well as painting the glade riders and uh, i think i also did the dryads too way back when back when i was in uh, my old studio so here are the miniatures for the squad of glade guard i'm not really go gonna go over them because they're they're all very similar, but they're all uh, individual, they're all unique. I gave them each different heads, different arms, and not only in the modeling aspect, but in the painting aspect. I wanted them to have, some of them to have this silver uh, white hair, some of them to be th that classic elf blonde, and uh, some to have brown hair too, as well. Like uh, this character here has hair that's a little bit darker brown, and I think I just used the dryad bark as a base color for that and shaded up a little bit with some steel legion drab but uh, everything else besides the hair color is taken directly from my glade guard uh, painting tutorial which uh, was, like i said is a few videos earlier up in my playlist recently and uh, i think it's a, a good tabletop standard. I think if you want to replicate my paint job, you're going to have uh, an army that I think anybody would be happy to have on the table. So here they are. I'm going to also take pictures of them, put them up on my Facebook, Warboss Tay, as well as my Twitter, Warboss Tay, so that you can, I guess, see them close up in all of their finery and detail. So that's the Glade Guard. A lot of fun to paint. The Widows are uh, surprisingly not as popular, I, I think, and as well as, or as much as in local circles that I've seen, as other armies for Fantasy and uh, even Age of Sigmar, but they've had some really great models come out recently. The, uh, all the, the tree spirits, the <laughs> Ar uh, Alario, I think, on that giant stag beetle, I think there's, there's gonna hopefully be a resurgence of them. So in the uh, big tree spirits in the like mixed up with dryads those look the hunters look really really great and of course the tree men look fantastic they're huge they um, look really just massive and i uh, think if you want to try your hand at painting any of those the tree spirits the dryads the um and the tree man i think you can get in a get started kit they don't pack in these Wood Elves anymore, the Glade Guard or the Glade Riders. So unfortunately, you're going to have to get those through some other means. But if you want a cheap entry into collecting some tree spirits, painting them up, seeing what kind of color schemes you like, then the start collecting boxes are, are definitely a great way to go. So these are the dryads that I painted, and I painted them in this very uh, simple gray color scheme. And yeah, I said simple, but it's it's a lot of dry brushing, selective washing, and um, highlighting and feathering in order to just not get very 
um, drab gray models and to really pop the texture on the bark I wanted to do lots of lines, line work. So for the legs, for all of the different limbs, I tried to get some good uh, brush strokes going. I tried to also do a, a glowing effect on the eyes by kind of glazing and watering down the moot green and just kind of feathering it around the eyes. So as well as painting the pupils themselves or the eyeballs themselves, I also kind of feathered in on the side of the nose and the upper cheeks as well as the runes. Any carved runes you see on these triads are going to have a little bit of a glow to them and that's purposeful. I did that uh, with the intention of creating the effect that the runes are glowing and that they contain the magic of life, which is also the magic that kind of imbues these tree women <laughs> with life and makes them come alive. I uh, had a great time painting these and I've never done dryads before. This was a fun opportunity for me to really um, experiment because uh, it's, it's always great to try and paint new things. It helped me grow my skill set as a painter. It made me realize that the different effects I could get for like the bright, vibrant greens of these leaves can be just as effective as the more drab green of the uh, bark kind of, what would you call that, loincloths that cover the front of them there. Finally, we're going to take a look at my Glade Riders and these uh, were exceptionally fun to paint. I wanted them to be all on white steeds and uh, even though the Glade Rider colors are very similar to the Glade Guard colors, I wanted the horses to make them stand out, to help them to stand out by being this very stark white and the hair on the manes and the tails are uh, just a very dusty brown and they're accented with a little bit of gold there. Some ringlets or some rings holding the braids in the tails there. The dark, rich brown of the horse armor is also a nice contrast to the white, and I think it contrasts nicely because it's different from the armor that the Glade Riders are wearing. The Glade Riders armor is mostly done with Mornfang brown, and um, I, although I guess their boots and their gauntlets are in that dryad bark, all the horse armor is in completely dryad bark with Doombull brown, edge highlights and when you do that you create a very interesting hard leather texture kind of kind of feel for that surface so uh, i definitely suggest trying it out all of the bone like the bows the uh, horns for for any of my wood elves are done very simply with rackard flesh and then when you shade it with seraphim sepia you get this very warm bone slash ivory slash, uh, I guess ivory is bone, right? Uh, bone slash light wood color. And it looks really, really nice. It looks definitely very elvish and uh, I like it. So I'm running out of battery, so I'm gonna cut it short here. I don't want my camera to die on me, but I've got seven of these beautiful ladies and handsome young men on steeds, and I really, really enjoyed this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope uh, if you have any questions, let me know, please. Thanks for joining me.